How to use pattern designs such as this is a very easy basic pattern design which I will show you how to create in a few minutes. To use it with neural filters in Photoshop. Select an image, any image, then go to filter and neural filters. So neural filters, go in there and then go down to style transfer. There's also landscape mixer, that's really good as well. So style transfer, make certain it's on. At this point it's not on, so click there. And now it's active. You might have to download it. Some of these you have to download. If they've created an update, you'll see it says download and just quickly download it again. And you've got all these artistic styles. You've got some great image styles as well. Very effective design. Simply click and apply. And you can modify the strength and it will process this, and this for this one. But you can also use that pattern design. And you can see the result there. Custom, click there. Select that. And there's that pattern design. That can be now used with this. Again, it will take a few seconds to process and it will create an unusual design. But you can also use crop. You can crop this. And you can see the design there. I think that's pretty amazing, colorful design. But you can see down here, drag to crop image. You can just go on the image and just create a very thin crop from top to bottom. Now, if it doesn't do it, it will not do it, <laughs> just like that. But sometimes it will. There, you are. that's what it does. Sometimes it just ignores. You have to check because you think, oh, it's done it. If it doesn't show it sort of faded away or sort of greyed out, that it hasn't done the cropping. Now it processes it again. Now you'll notice the strength is quite low. You can push that up. You can see what happens. It creates it like this effect. Even though you've done it vertically, it's created this horizontal effect, very thin lines. You can also do it the other direction as well. So let's just create that. Again, very thin selection. And if it doesn't work like that, it just ignores it, just do it again. Sometimes it seems to have a mind of its own that's going to do it. I think it's just a certain level it just will work with. Sometimes it won't. If it's too thin, it will not work. And it will process that again using that strength. You can push the strength up. But I don't think it really, I think it's probably that's going to be the best setting, about 20. That's why it's set for that. You can see what happens. It's created it vertically. So you've got this design. And of course, what you can do, you've got the options here, number of yes, etc. But you've also got output. So you can turn around and say, oh, you know what? Let's put this output to a new document. So you can create a new document from this. This effect, obviously this image, will be saved in a new document, which you can then use. So you've still got the original, untouched. So you can go back here. But you can use that in the effect again, if you wish. And of course, you can always then add additional effects to this. So you can always go to filter and down to blur or go down to stylize and maybe oil paint. Maybe apply that. And you can see you get a nice smeary design with that. Or maybe go for wave, filter and distort and wave and just create a slight distortion there. Maybe not that extreme, but maybe there, set that to one, set and then click OK. And you can see you create a nice wavy line design like that very quickly using just a pattern design. Well, you can, how to create this pattern design. If you want to find out how to do that, very simple. Just go to File and New and create one, something 100 by 900. Doesn't have to be that. It could be 100 by 2000, just as long as it's nice and thin. Click Create. Then go over here. You've got the gradient tool, you could apply a gradient to this if you want to fill the whole thing with a gradient, or you could use a shape. That's another option, just go to rectangle tool, shape, and set the fill to a gradient, black to white. And you could use any of the other ones here. Legacy gradients, just select one of these gradients, and you can see the step stops there, black and white. And just apply, and just fill the entire thing, or just fill a very narrow area. I'm just gonna fill the entire thing. So you've got that design there layer and flatten image. You could of course use the gradient tool just as quick. Edit and define pattern. And you've got it stored away as a pattern preset. So if you go to window, you can see patterns. And of course you could add additional ones there. You could modify it, apply effects to that. 
brush strokes, whole range of different designs could be created. You don't have to go just to basic white to black, or maybe use additional ones here, maybe a rainbow design. It's another possible. Just apply that and then define that as a pattern. So flatten image, edit, and define pattern. You could use that as well. Then go to far and new. Instead of that, you go for something like 2700 by 2700, click create. Go to edit and fill. So edit menu and fill. And then go for pattern. That's the key thing, pattern. With pattern selected, you've got the option for scripts. And I'm gonna go with random fill. That will create that little, that thin design, and it could be any design, it's thin design I created, but it's used here. This is the pattern I'm gonna be using. So just go down there and you can select it, select that. And random fill just puts it at different angles, different sizes all across. And you can also set the color randomization as well. So click OK. And you can see there, this is just, it's not perfect. That display is not perfect. It will not look like that. Apply it a couple of times. Set the density to 10, which is the max. Would be nice if it was 50 or 100. Scale factor, 0.1, that's the lowest. And also set it, change 1.21, just subtle changes size. And also you can rotate the pattern as well, as just by, if you deselect that, you see it's straight line, which I think is quite a nice effect as well. Color randomness set to one and click OK and apply. Now you can see it's actually filled most of it. I think that's reasonable, but you could apply it multiple times, edit and fill and do the same. Then you can go to filter and stylize and oil paint and just apply it. Click OK and you can see the result. And that's it. That's what I used. That design, that pattern design. But of course, that's only just a start point. You don't have to use just that. You could go to filter, stylize, some good features in here, find edges. And it just creates a nice, fairly empty, but still we've got those thin lines. And you could use that as well. So again, go back to the original image. With that, go to filters and go down to neural filters. And go landscape mixer or style transfer either one, click there, and then go to custom, and then select file. Now, I think it's untitled five, and you can see there. And the result might be interesting, it might not be. I haven't tried it. I just try it as an experiment. And it will take a few seconds to process. In fact, it takes more than a few seconds to process. Processing on the device. And there's the end result. Creates a very unusual looking design. You can see it's very similar to the one, first one, but now obviously with a lot more white in it. But again, drag to crop. You can do exactly the same, just simply drag across it. Though, to be honest, hard to see the crop there because of course the color. And now it will process it with that thin line instead. And that will probably create, I assume, a thin line design like before. Be unusual if it didn't. Yes, you can see the result there. You've got this very thin, broken design. And then, of course, once you've done that, you can click OK, and this time again, to a new document. So you've got that image as well. For some weird reason, there seems to be, I think, a bug, is that it creates a selection. I do not know why it produces a selection, but it does. Each and every time, sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. So select and deselect. And there's the end result. So you've got a variety of different designs, all very basic ones created from a variety of, and you can create all these sort of designs as well. A very sort of munch sort of design, wavy design like that. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.